Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Blue Version. Uh, in the last episode, we took out Marowak, freed the spirit of Marowak, and uh, so she can rest in peace. And then we are about to move on to the upper floor and rescue Mount Fuji. Now, it's funny because I keep getting this confused because I'm simultaneously playing Yellow Version at the same time I'm playing this. I'm playing Yellow Version on my own right now. So if you go into Yellow Version, when you go up here, or in the red and blue version, you're gonna have a bunch of Team Rocket people. But in the yellow version, you're only gonna have Jesse James and Meowth. So, we have a bunch of people to run through right now. Everyone's looking good. Leaping Bell. Let's keep War Turtle and Jolteon in front. Uh, just because I want to kind of keep everybody equal with levels. So, we'll keep Jolteon right now. What do you want? What are you doing here? A lot of Zubats, coughings. At least with Jolteon, we can attack quick and hard. Uh, we only got eight left on that, though. Eh, Thunderbolt, uh, Thundershock should be good. Solid. It's a bunch of Zubats. I'm happy with that. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Oh, it, 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 it's, it's been a good weekend. I'm getting a lot of recording done. Um, now, usually when we record, or when I record episodes of something, I'm recording like five to six episodes at a time. Um, so, this is probably one or two episodes that I've recorded so far. Um, and I think we're pretty good. We'll keep them out there. Let's use Thunderbolt. There we go. Um, and so far the recordings are going really well, uh, going smooth. Um, my plan is that once I actually have my own place again, and I can get on a steady, uh, a steady schedule of, uh, of recording, that, yes, I'll be able to record basically 10 to 12 episodes at a time of something and be really ahead. That would be awesome. 750, okay, so... They all leave once you beat them. There we go. Alright, I was hoping he wouldn't have some Zubats, because I'm like, I just put the electric type away. Give me something that's got some some brute brute to it and it doesn't need electricity solid hit ooh drowsy though he puts you to sleep we're in trouble confusion should be okay really oh oh mega punch all right. Easy. Pokemon are only good for making money. Stay out of our business. That's what I loved about the first generation was that it had actual villains. Like, the other Pokemon games are fine. They have villains and whatnot. But it's like, these were core just straight up we want money we want power we don't care about you pokemon are only tools for for our benefit like they are just street thugs and a very large corporation of them and i kind of miss that because it felt more realistic and i know it's a game and whatnot but it just it felt more relatable where it's like nowadays okay you're taking ooh, 34 you're, you're taking out villains that are going into different dimensions. Or that are taking out a power that... Uh, it's just... It's very supernatural. And it's like, eh, I could go without that. Uh, no, we should be fine. I'm only a couple levels away from getting Blastoise now. Ooh, 
Oh, well, I thought it was gonna hit me with like a super hyper fang. Yeah, we'll keep you out. Critical hit with a mega punch. Nice. Don't fight us rockets. 690, okay. You're not getting away with this. Eh, kinda am. Alright. Mr. Fuji, heh. <laughs> you came to save me? Thank you, but I came here on my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has gone to the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. And we get a one-way ticket out. Mr. Fuji, Nord, your Pokedex quest may fail without love for your Pokemon. I think this may help your quest. You must make you must make room for this. Oh crap! Um. Ah, fine. We'll use it. There we go. Okay. In order to receive the Pokey Flute. Alright. So basically, we can use the Pokey Flute to wake Pokemon. If you're carrying it with you, you can actually use it as like an awakening. Where if your Pokemon goes to sleep, you can play, play, play the Pokey Flute and it just works. Um, what we need to do though. is get rid of some of this stuff. Um, oh, I kind of wish we could just sell some of this stuff. Pokeball, Leaf Stone. Let's get rid of the Leaf Stone for now. Nugget, Pokey Flute, Elixir. Wait a minute. Okay, we don't need that. Coin case, no. HM2, that's fly. No. Although it would be nice. No, we don't need it yet. Ah! I need my bicycle. Um, no, not yet. We don't need our bicycle yet. Lift key. Okay. I'm trying to think of everything we do and do not need. Did you heal me? You did not. Okay, so what we're going to go do is we're going to work on getting our Jinx. That's what we're going to do. Um, okay, get rid of the repels. Antidote. I'm trying just to keep the bare, ma bare basic stuff. Oh, we could have got rid of that moonstone. Wait, you don't have. No, you're, you'd be great balls. You don't have ultra balls yet. That music is just so eerie. Alright. So, to get a Poliwhirl, right, 
Because we need to trade a poly whirl for Jinx. To get a poly whirl, you need a good fishing rod. Actually, you need a, you need a good or a super. So that's what we're going to head down to. There is a house down here. Where, actually... My Pokemon's ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. That's so sad. Ooh, Swift. Jolteon. Um, let's hold off on Swift. It's a good normal attack and doesn't miss. At least I don't think it does. Um... You know what, this is a good training spot for Jol for both Jolteon and Weeping Bell. How did you get a bite? You weren't even facing the water. Fisherman wants to fight. Goldeen. Oh, I remember those sprites. That's bringing back some good memories. Um... Ooh, Poliwag. So we either need to get a Poliwag and evolve it, or just fish up a Poliwhirl. And there are a couple spots where you can get a Poliwhirl. Um, I believe one of them actually is in Celadon City, that little bit of water in the middle of the, the city. Um, what level are you at? Oh. We don't have to use up all of our vine whips. surf when we're done. When we do get surf. Fishing is a waiting game. Yes, it is. Um, see, this I don't like because you're also a poison type. Poison type is good against grass. Kind of wish I could teach you, Swift. I think I'm just going to plow through and get Weeping Bell to 38 as quickly as we can. Just so we don't have to focus on him for a while. Come on. Ah, uh, Goldeen. You only got one, though. Level uh, 27. Holy cow. Nice, and we got a crit on too. Um, the house should be... Well, no, I take that back. We still have to awaken a certain Pokemon. Which I cannot wait to see, because I haven't seen his sprite in years. The old school sprite of him. Yeah, we have an elixir, we can use that. And I think I'm gonna try and get Poliwhirl to like the high 20s before I trade it. Because when you trade it, whatever level you trade your Pokemon at, that's the level that you're gonna get the other Pokemon at. And seeing that our Pokemon are all around the mid, our low to mid 30s already, I'm going to try to get mine to the high 20s at least, 
Because you could take Jinx with one ice type move going through Erica's gym and it'll breeze right through it. Um, it should be fine. Horsey? I don't really see many horsies around. It's evolved form, Cedra. That has a cool sprite. Alright. Look at him. Um... Yeah, we should be fine. Oh, well. Nord played the pokey flute. Snorlax woke up. It attacked in a grumpy rage. That is a cool sprite. Um, sleep powder? Oh, I woke up right away. God darn it. Sleep powder again. Um, I don't want to poison it and accidentally knock it out. I kind of want to catch this guy. Ooh. Another one? Okay, let me do... Ah! Uh, I just want to try it. greatly rose sleep powder thank you I should be able to do it with a, another vine whip it's not a critical okay ultra balls would be real nice right now dang it Our legs. One thousand fourteen pounds. Six eleven. Very lazy. Just eats and sleeps. As its rotund bulk builds, it becomes steadily more slothful. Uh, you want to give a nickname? No, we're good. Look at this cute little guy. Look at that attack, and his special. He is beefy. Knows headbutt. He knows rest and amnesia. That was the one that worried me was rest. Alright, so we cleared the way down here. We have some... That house is where we want to go. Electricity is my specialty. Weeping Bell should be okay. Your eyebrows, dude. So I'm gonna send out an electric type that doesn't learn any electric moves. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Voltorb doesn't learn a single electric type attack. That's the only downside of him. He's extremely fast. Electrode, his evolved form, very quick. One of the fastest electric types in this game. But it doesn't naturally learn electric types. Um, 
Maybe acid? Oh. Nice. Um, oh, and we got an electrode. We have to be careful with this one, though, because... Uh, electrode, much like Weezing or Golem, they like to self-destruct. So, we'll just put up a wrap. Just work it down. Take your time. I just don't want them to explode. Of hits out of this one. He, apparently, he just wants to put up barriers. That's all he wants to do. He hasn't done a single attack. Sonic Boom is like his go to attack. 36, two more. And we can finally evolve our Weaving Bell. Okay. We're here. I'm the fishing guru's brother. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? I do. Grant, I like your style. Take this and fish, young one. Super rod. That's the best rod in the game. Now, the good rod is actually in Fuchsia City. But, if you take this route instead of the route next to Celadon City, you will actually get the super rod, which is the best rod in the game. Um, okay. Now we need to make our way back up. Actually, we could probably just cross here. Oh, I really don't want to go through all this grass. Actually, do I have super repels? Aha! Glad I do. Dang it! I thought I fought everybody in here. Oh. Oh, man. You're gonna get to the point where you kind of feel bad for him. It's like, dude, you're... You're going up against me? completely wreck house. Although Ninarino is good. He missed? Oh. How did you miss rap? Good job, good job, keep it up. There you go, we got a crit too. There we go. Alright, so. We're now back in Vermilion City. We need to get... Um, now we probably could get our bike. And actually, this is a good time to call it quits. We got our Snorlax, we finished up with Mr. Fuji, and we got our Super Rod. Steady progress. Love it. So in the next episode, I'm going to take out the bike, we're going to head towards Celadon City, uh, hopefully fish us up a Poliwhirl, and be able to trade for Jinx. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care, and peace out.